about 50% of elephants in captivity will get foot problems for at least once throughout their life. It's really important to have really good foot care pro uh, programs to prevent that. So in the wild, they would be used to walking for many miles in search of food and water, and they would be grinding down their feet quite a lot as they forage through the forest. But here, um, we are nice to them and give them their food directly, and they don't have that opportunity to uh, grind down their toenails, so we have to do it for them. So we don't want their toenails. Their toenails shouldn't be weight-bearing, so we have to trim them up a little bit so that they're not um, touching the ground. And this one here is going to slough off. So just like if you injured your finger, you might have a finger that's going to slough off. This one looks like it's going to be having the same thing. Her nails are very soft, so it's very easy to file them. It um, is hard for her to keep her foot up here for so long, so we do little by little. It's really good for the feet to be inspected every day and probably trimmed every couple months at least, depending on how fast they grow. So in the rainy season, they're gonna grow faster than in the dry season. It does seem a little bit drier than it was last time. We'll have to compare our pictures from the bottom of her feet. And you do have to be really careful trimming the edges of the toenails like I'm doing, but this is a dead toenail and there's a rock stuck in here. So I want to make sure, I'm just cutting slowly in case there is blood supply in the area, but I want to even it out so she won't have that problem anymore and get rocks stuck in there and get an infection. Their trunk weighs so much that it, it weighs down their head, a lot like a horse. So we know horses, they have long necks and big heads. They put about 60% of their weight on their feet. We think elephants about the same. So their front feet are t tend to get more problems than their back feet. <laughs>